It's cherry blossom season in Korea, and today we're exploring Jinhae, Korea's most famous destination for cherry blossoms. But we're also going literally all over the country. So come along with us as we explore the many cherry blossoms in Korea. Jinhae. Well, right now we're in Jinhae, which is the south part of Korea, and it has the most cherry blossoms in all of Korea, remaining from the Japanese occupation. And there are a lot of tourists. There are probably as many tourists as there are trees. So as you probably heard this from us many times before, always come early. Yeah. It's really, right now it's only 8.28, and there's so many people, and we came here about an hour ago. When we got here, people were just showing up. I mean, if you're out here at the absolute earliest of daylight, then you might kind of get it to yourself a little bit, but this is one of the busiest festivals midday. I mean, it'll be a complete human traffic jam. Okay, come along with us as we don't know where we're going, but there's <laughs> cherry blossoms everywhere, so it's let's beautiful. go. Last night we actually came at like midnight and went to a famous stream and visited that so we'll show you that footage now. Jinhae and I thought it'd be really smart to come here late at night because there'll be nobody. I was wrong. There are so many people here and it's midnight, but thank God Korea's pretty safe at night. And honestly, it's really beautiful. Yeah. Spring came kind of late this year and we're supposed to go last weekend, but there was literally nothing. And now it's yeah. probably like 85% bloom. But yeah, there's like just people walking on this bridge. I was, we've probably seen a couple hundred people and we've only been here for half an hour, but it's literally midnight right now. So we're gonna walk around and explore. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so as you can see, there's a ton of people in Jinhae. If you want to go south and see the cherry blossoms, but you don't want to deal with the crowds, we recommend staying in Goje. There are lots of beautiful cherry blossoms there, and it's still right by the sea, but there's virtually no tourism. And it's really easy to get into town for a few hours to see the more touristy spot. Lovely locations with beautiful cherry blossoms that are right there on the sea. Okay, so we just finished walking around this area at the station in Jinhae, and honestly, it's just a straight through walk, so it's pretty easy to get through, and you can just take your time and stroll. Usually when people think of cherry blossoms, they usually think of Japan, but Korea also has, maybe not as much, but it's also as beautiful as it is in Japan. I don't think people realize how versatile, I guess. Korea is. Yeah, there's so many different like mountains and coasts, and there's beautiful areas like this. This is my first time experiencing anything like this it's just unbelievably beautiful i'm kind of like taken away it's just crazy how much this small country has so much to offer let's continue exploring korea also so many dogs there's little babies everywhere we left Jinhae at noon, and we ended up going all the way up to Gyeongju, which is the traditional city in Korea. Unfortunately, we didn't have much time because we had to return the car, but we still managed to go to Wolji Pond, which is one of the most famous places in Gyeongju. It's an ancient pond with ruins of an old palace. And later that week, the cherry blossoms up north bloom, so we decided to go back to our favorite city, Daejeon. Even though we don't live here anymore, we still love to visit as much as we can. Daejeon has a few rivers running through it that are lined with cherry blossoms and are so beautiful. And one of the most famous locations in Daejeon is Kais. This is a college campus that is famous for its beautiful cherry blossoms. As you can see, this was towards the end of cherry blossom season and all of them were raining towards the ground. I don't think I've ever seen something quite this beautiful. It felt like we were in a magical TV show. So we hope you enjoyed this beautiful spring journey through Korea as much as we did. And maybe this inspired you for your trip next year. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want to see more travel content, especially in Asia, and we'll see you next time.